Skullsmokes.com. I'm here once again with Dino Casada yes. at the Beer Factory. How are you, sir? I am doing great. We're here at the Irving Plaza tonight. Uh, we're on the Cold Chamber tour, and we're basically touring in support of our new record, Genexus, which came out a few days ago, and we're extremely proud of how, how it all came out. Let me tell you about this record, because I'm one of those weird people that I have an open mind when I listen to records. I don't okay. expect to hear it to manufacture every time. <laughs> so I've enjoyed all of your records, but there's something really special about this record. I haven't, it hasn't clicked yet. I don't know what it is, but there's something special about it. Uh, you know, one of the benefits uh, when we were doing this record is that we actually took our time. So it was like a little bit over a year, um, you know, long enough to let the songs marinate and grow and evolve. And we were able to really get technical on things uh, that we liked and we didn't like and, you know, explore new avenues as well. Yeah. Um, I think there's something for everybody on this record. And I think that's what makes it great because you have the slow, groovy, heavy tracks like Soul Hacker, Church of Execution. Obviously, you got the faster tracks like Autonomous Combat System, Proto Mech, uh, Battle for Utopia is another yeah. big epic song yeah. like Zero, T Zero Signal esque type song. Um, and obviously, we have the big epic closer expiration date which we put on every one of our records every one, we, I love yeah it. so we always like to give you like punch the fans in the face and then you let them off easy exactly <laughs> and then you know it, it, it has there's a lot of there's a lot of passion in the record yeah. and and we put a lot of passion in the record and Bert's vocals I think you could tell that he really felt it yeah and and you know you could tell when when a band's just doing something just for a quick payday or yeah. you know you can you can hear it if somebody's just doing it for the sake of doing it. No, we're doing it because we loved it and you can really hear it and it translates really well on the record. Oh, well, how does it translate to the stage? Because it's my first time hearing the new material live. Well, you're, you're gonna hear live tonight. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna see the crowd going nuts. When we play Soul Hacker, yeah. it's got that big, heavy groove. Oh, yeah. We did it in Europe and the crowd was just, you know, seeing like 20, 30,000 people jumping up in the air is pretty cool for that track, yeah. No, we do songs like that, like, you know, Edge Crusher type songs. Lynchpins, obviously, Soul Hacker. Those songs go really well over live because yeah. they got the groove element and it's um, it translates well when you're playing live. Of course, yeah, some of the some of the fast songs, people leave, love some of the fast songs live. It's usually when the pit's going yeah. and we do songs like D-Manufacture, Power Shifter, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, we have a variety of everything also live. We have such a big catalog, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so many songs to choose from. Do you enjoy making the set list? Because a lot of people don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I do and I don't. I mean, I like to put, obviously, the fan favorites, but there's those odd tracks that you want to throw in there. And we're yeah. like, you know, it's like sometimes when you're doing, the when you're opening up for other bands, you don't get that much time. Tonight, we only get 50 minutes. So you're only going to hear like 10 songs. But that means you have to do a headlining tour soon. Correct. Yes. Any news on that? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. There is news on that. Um, well, after this Cold Chamber tour, we jump on, we do our own headlining tour, but we don't come back to the East yeah. Coast, you know. Um, that's for another month. And then we, everything else, we go overseas, um, you know, to South America, all Japan, Indonesia, Thailand, uh, there's somewhere else I can't remember. And then uh, obviously we go back to Europe. We go to Israel, yeah. first time ever. That's crazy. Go to Russia again, um, do the UK, and that is for the demanufacturer 20 year anniversary. Now we're hoping that we get to do that here next year. I was, I was about to say, you gotta do that. Yeah. You can't just leave us out of there. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping we get to do that ne next year, but we gotta do it within the within the year. In other words, the record came out June 13th, yeah. 1995. So we gotta we gotta do it before June 13th, 2016. So. We want to we want to do within that time frame. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. Is it crazy we'll to you that that record came out 20 years ago? <sighs> Does it feel like 20 years ago? It doesn't feel like 20 years ago. It just seems like it was just you know a couple albums ago. Yeah. But um, it's still it's still a record that stands the test of time. You know, oh, yeah. and it was a record that was that I think was a game changer. You know, I think a lot of people so when Soul of a New Machine came out, yeah, you know the underground scene was like, what the fuck's this? You know, there's yeah. melodic vocals on it. 
there was some, you know, industrial elements in it. You know, people were like, what's the, what the fuck is this? And then we did Fears the Mind Killer, which is yeah. the techno, dance, industrial, grindcore remixes. <laughs> and then people were like, what the fuck is this shit? You know? And then all of a sudden, we're like, okay, we found out who we are. Yeah. We did demanufacture, and that was the game changer. We, from there, we had our own style. We were who we were. Like on Soul Money Machine, you can, the first record, you can really hear our influences. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You hear a little bit of the Godflesh, a little bit of the Napalm Death, uh, you know, and other elements thrown in there. But it wasn't until D Manufacture that we're like, okay, this is Fear Factory. And we pretty much created our own sound that pretty much, you know, inspired a lot of music today. I, I think a ton so. of music today. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the one thing that you hear in every band is basically the vocals you know if it's yeah. anybody who's doing heavy verses melodic vo- melodic choruses obviously know that that's where it came from Bert you know what I mean but a lot of people don't know where it came from because you know generations and generations people forget or they might be influenced by another band yeah. that came way after us you know but it's all good as long as it's still metal <laughs> yeah I mean well, talk, I mean, you've been doing this with Burton for years and it seems especially obviously since you returned the last three albums y'all really connected even harder in the new record it seems like y'all are just strictly on the same page like never before yeah. Um, yeah I guess so I mean I've always felt we've been on the same page since the day we met yeah. pretty much um, but on this one I think you know like I said we, we took our time and we really thought it out um, you know I love the industrialist record but you know, we were also a little rushed on that record. You know, we didn't have enough. We didn't have that closure at the end of the album. Yeah. We thought it was missing, um, and we just were kind of rushed by the label to hurry up and get it out. So sometimes it always doesn't work. Sometimes it's okay. But in this case, it didn't work that well. We're on Nuclear Blast yes. now, and and Monty kind of was like, "Look, take your time. You want the record to be the shit, so take your time." And that's exactly what we did. Monty knows what he's doing. Yes, Monty's, <laughs> Monty's a seasoned vet. He's not new know. to this game. No, definitely not. I mean, he's worked a lot of big records. He's signed a lot of big bands, us being, yeah. us being one of those bands. And, um, and he's just been there for, since day one. He knows the band. He knows what our good qualities are and what our bad qualities are. You know, and um, he just knows how to executively produce us. <laughs> So we have obviously touring with Cole Chamber. Yep. Longtime friends. Yep. Playing the 50 minute set. Yes. Is are, how many of the new songs? Two. Oh, come on. Two? Yeah, we can. Well, come on. People want to hear the classics. People want to hear the classics. True. This is true. You know, Do you ever get tired of playing the classics? No, never, never. get tired of playing my songs. <laughs> no. No, I mean, I just don't. I don't know how to explain it. I just, you know, I love it. Well, you haven't really written a bad song, so it's kind of easy. To pick and choose. I, I'm not gonna say bad song, but maybe not so great songs. <laughs> <laughs> what is one that you look back on? And you're like, damn, wow, I want to say to yourself. I knew that was the next question. <laughs> Pull me in there, man. <laughs> um, I would probably have to say. I don't want to say it. <laughs> I don't want to say. One it. of those songs. Yes. One of those songs. Yes. All right. So maybe we'll remake it in the future for a remastered something. <laughs> maybe. We'll see what happens, you know. Very cool, Dino. We'll let you get ready for the show. Do you have any final words for the fans out there? Yes. I yes. want to say support your favorite artist. Go out there and, you know, buy the CDs, buy the tickets, um, buy the T-shirts, and support them. Because without you guys, bands like us wouldn't, wouldn't exist. Um, and we don't want to see live music become obsolete. We don't want to see EDM take over. We don't want to see some guy with a laptop pressing a button take over live music, you know? So support your artist, go out there, and uh, just be there. Well, we are here for you, sir. Thank you very much, Dino, as always. The Nexus is out right now on Nuclear Blast. Pick it up if you haven't already. Cheers. Cheers.